So not too many weeks ago, I asked my audience on Instagram what was the best part of landscape photography. And this video here is also a little bit of a response video because often videos on YouTube has a tendency to have like a little bit of a negative connotation. Like I admit fully that I'm part of that, like making mistakes videos and avoid this, avoid that and problems with X and Y and so forth. So let's try to have a positive vibe in this one. So the first thing that really jumped out on all the answers that I got was the exploration part of landscape photography. And yes, I can completely acknowledge that exploration is a huge part of landscape photography. Going out to new places, seeing new stuff and exploring just like a new forest that you have never been to before. Going to Iceland and out into the highlands, being in places that you've never seen before and trying to come up with and find new compositions. It is just fantastic. And then especially when you do explore and you do get the right conditions and then you in the end actually get the shot, then you most certainly feel a sense of proudness. So the next aspect that you guys could definitely agree about is a favorite part of landscape photography is the creative process and I completely agree. The creative process is probably actually my favorite part of landscape photography. I especially remember when I wanted to photograph Comet Neowise last summer. I actually made two videos here on YouTube that you can check out but that entire process was just really fantastic. I have really fond memories about it, even though I was like a zombie who hadn't got enough sleep over that period. And I even in that process came up with a lot of new ideas and got a lot of new photos that I want to save for a future project, hopefully this summer here. But photographing that comet, I, I really had an initial idea about what I wanted and the entire process of trying to solve all the problems that comes with shooting with a long lens during night in an environment where you want to compress the scene and, and include a small comet in the night sky that you can hardly see and then have myself like hundreds of meters away from the camera. That was, uh, that was interesting to say the least, especially because I was yeah just so tired throughout those days. So definitely if you haven't seen those two videos that I created during that period, check those out. The third thing that a lot of you could agree about is to be out in nature and experience a specific moment. Like I had a lot of individual comments saying like, oh, I remember the northern lights and oh, I remember that sunrise or that sunset or a specific moment. And I have just so many moments that I remember, but especially one of my favorite moments ever was my last day in the highlands of Iceland where I photographed the dust storms around the lone mountain Malifet. It was just out of this world flying the drone above those dust storms, driving the car in there, getting these photos that at least from what I have seen at that time was rather unique. Finding different places and different compositions with the drone just working for myself out there in the highlands of Iceland. That for me is a very special moment and a very special event that I will remember for the rest of my life, that's for sure.
So just now that I have you guys, I would highly appreciate a like. It goes a long way to support the channel and it's of course completely free for you to do. And if you want to see even more, be sure to subscribe to the channel. So the fourth favorite thing that just everybody almost said, just besides the one that's your favorite part, which I will say in just a moment, the fourth favorite is just to be out alone in the field during a sunrise and experiencing a sunrise on an early morning. And I completely again agree with that. Wow, just being for yourself all alone while the world is waking up, when the fog and the mist starts to evaporate, when the light is golden and warm and fantastic, when you get sunbeams in through the trees, when the birds twitter in the trees and you see the geese on the water and everything is silent. Like, that is one of those very special moments that I think that all of us landscape photographers really can agree is just something of the very, very best of being a landscape photographer. So I saved the best for last. The one thing that most people could agree about, at least on Instagram, what is the best aspect of landscape photography? I think it was even like at least 50% of all the answers I got agreed that just being out, just being out in nature, that is the best part of landscape photography. I'm actually surprised that it has not really a lot to do with photography in and of itself. But yes, I completely agree. Being out in nature is a fantastic part of landscape photography. And in the end, I guess most of us, we actually like to get out first and then we bring the camera out into the field. Being outside is what we all just so much enjoy. It is where we experience how big and beautiful nature is, where we feel small and insignificant. It's where we feel calm and we feel relaxed. It's where we feel excited and it's where we feel awe and wonder about life. So yes, just being outside recharging the batteries before a stressing day, before a stressing society, before all the negativity we get through the media, we get through the social medias and yeah, I can just continue. Being outside in nature is all of us favorite aspect of landscape photography.
I hope you enjoyed this very alternative video from me and this homage to nature. If you want to learn about composition in landscape photography, be sure to get my two ebooks. And if you want to learn how I edit my photos, be sure to join my huge Photoshop for landscape photographers from beginner to advanced post processing course. There is a discount code down in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see even more landscape photography videos and thank you so much for watching.